In 1987, a computer animator named Craig Reynolds grew tired of rendering hordes of animals one by one. So he set out to find a way to automate the process. He came up with Boyd's, simple software that creates surprisingly complex group behaviors. Each virtual individual, in this case each paper plane, is guided by just a few straightforward rules. With the right set of guidelines, the individuals combine to form a unified flock, moving and reacting together. Reynolds' flocks were remarkably realistic, making some scientists wonder if real-world swarms were organized from the bottom up. Biologist Ian Cousin started looking for rules that might explain how locusts congregate into swarms. Using computer vision software to map their positions and orientations, he discovered that locusts eat each other from behind, propelling their neighbors forward as they try to escape. Just a single rule, the rule of self-preservation, ultimately leads to the plagues of locusts we see in nature. Now, these rules are being discovered in all sorts of biological systems. At his lab at Princeton, Cousin is applying computer vision techniques to understand the rules that govern schools of tiny fish called golden shiners. And it may turn out that crowds of humans have more in common with schools of fish than we ever imagined.